Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this little box I'm holding in my hand is our uh, newly redesigned Starseek Wireless Telescope Control Module. Uh, it doesn't do anything by itself, it's an interface. It goes between the hand controller of your go-to telescope. Um, in this case, I've got the uh, Starseeker 4, uh, the 130 millimeter. Uh, it interfaces to the hand controller and then creates a Wi-Fi hotspot, which you can then connect to your smartphone. Uh, our previous version only worked with the iPhones, but this guy is now going to be working with Android devices as well. So it's a cool way to control your telescope without being tethered to the hand controller here. Um, you've got the coiled wire, you can only go so far away. Uh, plus, I guarantee you when you're out with some friends and you pull out your phone and control the telescope remotely using your smartphone, it's really cool and everybody's very impressed. So uh, it's a fun way to do it. Plus you get the the graphical interface uh, that's included in the uh, software that you use on the phone. On the um, smartphone, it's called the Starseek on the Apple uh, iTunes Store or on the Google Play. Uh, the, the program is called Starseek. So it connects wirelessly to this and then this connects to the hand controller. Uh, it's important to note you don't need a uh, internet connection out or a Wi-Fi uh, connection anywhere nearby. This creates its own hotspot. So it's independent of an internet connection. You can be out in the middle of nowhere and connect to your telescope wirelessly. So let me show you some of the features and the included uh, items in the box. One of the biggest changes from the previous model is that it now includes an internal uh, rechargeable uh, battery instead of having to replace AA batteries. Uh, it's rechargeable, built inside. Uh, it will last four to eight hours depending on usage. And it comes with an AC adapter, which you can plug in right down here on the bottom. The AC adapter uh, will recharge the internal battery, or if you don't want to wait, it will also just supply power from an external wall outlet as well. So you don't have to rely on the internal battery. If you look down on the bottom here, a little closer up, the uh, uh, ports, the USB port, in case your mount includes a, a USB connector to connect to it. The uh, DB9, this is the standard serial port. The previous version was the four pin phone jack style connector. Well, this is a direct serial, so you don't have to get one extra cable to go to the phone jack anymore. It's just straight serial out of the back, so a little handier. Um, and then there's a little port for connecting the AC adapter. On the front is your power button. Uh, it will also show the sync once you've got the Wi-Fi attached or connected. And then there's a uh, low power uh, indicator. When the battery reaches 25% of capacity, it'll start flashing at you, letting you know that at some point you're going to lose the link. All right, well, here I have the serial cable that came with our GoTo telescope. Uh, incidentally, this cable comes with all of our uh, GoTo telescopes. If you have a scope that uh, doesn't include a serial cable, you may need to get one. But otherwise, if you have an Orion telescope that's GoTo, don't worry, you've got this already. So the serial attachment down on the bottom, simply attach it on there. The other side goes to the bottom of your hand controller. Right there. And then the uh, Wi-Fi box includes this little pull loop so you can attach it to the mount itself. And you can just let it dangle from there and now you've got Wi-Fi directly to your phone. All right, well that's pretty much it. This is the Orion Starseek Wireless Telescope Control Module. Uh, again, a very cool way to connect your telescope and use the power of your smartphone to control the, uh, the pointing of the mount. All right, well, thank you very much. Clear skies.